And we're on, on the air again. And we're working with the Roland MC909. And um, while well, we're talking about older problems that could arise with these devices. Um, mine, you know, could be about 20 years old. And um, what I've noticed in particular is that the uh, the line outs and the headphone jacks on the back, uh, if you bump it, it um, cuts out. Unless you have it sitting just right back there. I mean, I'm sure it could be an easy fix for somebody who wants to take this apart and um, you know replace the jacks. But I don't want to solder the board myself. I could destroy it. Um, however, there is something that uh, could work out a little better and um, that is the the sampling resampling feature over here on that uh, board whoops and uh, let's not block that if we hit the sampling resample we could actually record the mix of what's playing right back into uh, the Roland MC device so if I hit mix, you'll notice that we have audio happening. Um, that's from this sequence that's playing. And uh, we can hit auto trigger. Let's stop this so it doesn't fire off automatically. We can hit auto trigger and trim the end of the sample so there's no silence at the beginning or the end. And uh, the rest is self-explanatory. I'm going to stop it manually. It's going to be stereo sample. So here we go. Boom. As you can see, the meters are moving and it's recording a stereo sample. I'll let it go for, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds or something here. And then I stop. And immediately it stops the part from playing and it writes a sample. Uh, and now. You actually didn't hear what was going on, so let me just uh, prove to you that there's actually a sample here now of what we just recorded. So then, you know, rather than cry about having lost your your session, you could um, you could go ahead and write that sample. Sample comes up. Hit enter. Um, I'll write it to the card. If I shift it and down to sample number one, write, execute. And it's writing that um, that session. So once that's completed, we're gonna ask ourselves, well, how can we get it off of this machine and then onto the computer? Well, uh, what we're gonna do is, and I'll pop over to that computer and exit from my video capture so you can see what's going on. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just head back here and show you. You first want to hook up that, again, the USB cable to the back of the device. And it'll pop up on the screen that it, uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, let's, uh, let's hit our menu. And go to USB and go to memory card and now it wants to connect we'll open that folder we'll go ahead and you know head over to our samples and we'll 
look for the session that was saved to the card. It's actually in the Roland folder, it's not in the temp. Temp is when you're importing, Roland is when you save the session, and under the sample folder, here it is. No, oh, wait, that's a wave sound from a different time. A sound file sequence. Piano. sense. Sample. So I think the date's wrong. Let's uh, open this with a VLC media player and see what we get. Okay, yeah. That is actually my sample weird though, I mean it shows the wrong date. I have no idea how that uh, that date is set up on the Roland MC. But that's, uh, that's a curiosity, maybe that's the year that this thing was manufactured. <laughs> Anyhow, now all you have to do is just copy that sample to your computer and you're all good to go. Alright, uh, thanks for bearing with me through that. But, um, yeah, you know, when you have these elderly instruments, you got to find ways to save your work so there's less frustration. And with that, I'll just play out. Enjoy. Yeah, let's disconnect this first.